What do you think in the next 20 years is going to be the biggest breakthrough in science? What do you think is going to happen? Can you fly? You know, I have the Marty McFly's over there, hover shoot, hoverboards. I mean, what, what do you think? What do you think will be the in the next 10 and then the next 20? So why don't we have two uh, scientific breakthroughs or technological breakthroughs? Let me let me speculate that we're getting to the point where the cost of sequencing your entire genome is rapidly dropping to zero. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking in that area, that's just going to be a big deal. So that means you can just basically, like, you understand how the, your blueprint, how each individual that's person right. is put together. That's so right. they can be like, we, oh, we'll make you a little taller. We've never been able to do that. And make so, you a little better looking. Yeah. Tell you, the other area that has been very surprising to me, driverless cars. I, I saw that like, thing that Google's doing, it's amazing. Yeah. So they've driven them like 200,000 miles without an accident. Now they have a driver sitting there ready to take over. But I don't think they have ever had to have the driver take over. It hasn't, it hasn't had to happen. And so if we look out 20 years, I'm thinking that there will be applications of this. I'm not saying none of us are going to be driving anymore. But mm -hmm. that to me was surprising. I don't drive anyways, I do a lot. Surprising and unexpected and a really good thing. We could have far fewer vehicles. They could be far more efficient. We don't have to rebuild our whole road system mm -hmm. in terms of a sustainable economy. One other question I know yeah. we're supposed to wrap up. We have have you seen yeah. Big Dog, the Boston Scientific robot that, that writes its balance? Oh, yeah. Do you think we're we'll going to be riding, on, like, on, like, riding around on virtual robots that can be like horses? In amusement parks, yes. Because yeah. it's pretty crazy. If you see that, crazy. you can yes. kick the thing over and won't yes. fall over. That's right. It's that's insane. Right. It's kind of scary because I, I have a feeling that one day I'll wake up and Big Dog will be coming for me and I won't be able to kick them over, so that wouldn't be good. Tell me, what, what do you want to leave the, the youth of the world with? What, what final message do you want to give them? Well, I, I love what you're doing here. I got a tour of the car move office, the energy, the, the people. Uh, it's just really wonderful, the spirit of, of working together. And I'm thinking out of places like Car Loop and its, its community uh, will come some kind of political change and movement for social change. I can just feel that it's being hatched and I, I look forward to seeing that and, and helping with it. We got some big plans. All right.